Alright guys, so we're going to be talking about new Modern Warfare gameplay releasing very soon, and I feel like it's coming up on us very shortly, and a lot of people aren't aware that next week is E3. Time has been passing so quickly, we just got the reveal of Modern Warfare, and E3 seems like such a long time away from that reveal. Obviously, usually at E3, we get some sort of gameplay for Call of Duty. Every year, Call of Duty has some sort of booth, some sort of event where they're revealing gameplay, revealing a new mode, and honestly, for the past couple years, you guys know, Call of Duty has always revealed their multiplayer at around E3 time, and if not, just revealing it. Also, multiplayer is usually playable at E3, so we're going to be going through what exactly Modern Warfare, Infinity Ward, and Activision are all doing this year at E3, and what you guys should expect, and when you guys should expect a live stream of this new gameplay reveal next week. So, that being said, if you can't leave a like, that'd be greatly appreciated. Subscribe for more Modern Warfare videos, and let's get started. So up on screen here, E3 2019, their Coliseum, what they're doing for all different developers, revealing their new games and stuff, and Call of Duty, Infinity Ward, they're actually one of the first guys up for this event. Obviously, it goes from Tuesday, June 11th to Thursday, June 13th, and let's go through here the information on, obviously, what we're focused on, Modern Warfare. So, report, Infinity Ward will showcase at least two Modern Warfare campaign missions at E3 2019. So, here is the disclaimer. For one, as of now, we're not so sure exactly what the deal with the multiplayer is. Like I said, every year we get some sort of multiplayer information, gameplay, or it's even playable at E3, but this time around, it looks like we're not going to be seeing much of anything in the way of multiplayer now we got leaks last week from the chinese leaker victor you guys pretty much know him he's a pretty credible guy and not to downplay his credibility and stuff he was obviously saying that multiplayer would be revealed in late july and that's pretty late and a lot of people were a bit skeptical as to why they're doing it so late and you know what maybe it isn't that late maybe it is earlier the only information that we have multiplayer is not going to be at e3 is that guy i mean other than that you know Infinity Ward, they have not said that they're not bringing multiplayer. They didn't say that they are, but they didn't say that they're not. So I think we should definitely keep an eye out for something. And if, even if we don't see a multiplayer reveal, like a huge reveal, we might get a bunch of, you know, information on it officially from them, them discussing it. Because this time around at E3, they're doing an actual live stream where they're talking. These people are going to be talking to us for at least a half an hour about this game. The reveal that we saw on May 30th uh, last Thursday, whenever it was, two weeks ago, that was just a trailer and that's it. But this time it's going to be an actual live stream. So it's going to be a lot more interesting. So let me go through here what exactly we're seeing for sure. And at least most likely the leaks are saying that's going to be the two campaign missions that all of the YouTubers and the playtesters and the influencers saw uh, a few weeks ago. And that would obviously make sense. You know, they talk about, they discuss the missions two weeks ago, and now they're actually going to showcase them for the public at E3. So we're at least seeing these two missions. Just to recap them very quickly, the first mission was the Navy SEAL raid in London. So it will be shown at E3. It's set in 2019 in London, the UK. And then the second mission, is the flashback of the rebel fighters in the Middle East and it's two rebel soldiers who play a role in the campaign the main reason for this mission was to understand what led them to become soldiers and all the crazy events that happen within those campaign missions I mean if you want to go through the specifics as to what happens definitely it's on Charlie Intel but I would just wait until the official campaign gameplay is released I um, mean let me tell you guys when exactly that's gonna be released right now so specifically again this is what's going on here in Finney Ward's E3 Coliseum panel is June 11th at 3 p.m. Pacific time, 6 p.m. Eastern time. That is next Tuesday, and that's when that's when they're going to be doing their reveal live stream, going through a bunch of stuff, showcasing these two missions here, and then also discussing as to what is going on with this game. A bunch of details, probably mostly about campaign, and again, maybe they'll add in some multiplayer. Um, and here's the time schedule up on screen. I do think we're probably not going to see multiplayer just because of the fact that if you look here, Call of Duty only has 30 quick minutes to 
to go through at least their two campaign missions and then also a discussion as to about what's going to be going on here because you see the bio join the infinity word team for a panel discussing the next installment of the uh, critically acclaimed call of duty franchise so if they're showing these two missions which let's just say approximately are 10 or so minutes each probably a bit more but maybe they'll cut them down and they'll only show us you know certain sections of these missions so maybe if they do that they have a good 10 to 15 minutes of discussion from this panel and when you think about it that is absolutely nothing for a panel usually an hour panel for call of duty whenever they do these reveals it goes by very quickly you can only get a couple of questions in especially if they have long responses especially just the time it takes to ask the question in between understanding it in between setting up the stream and there's no intermission too right at 3 30 they have to switch over to ubisoft and they have to start their actual you know sort of stream whatever ubisoft is revealing in their sort of panel and then they only have half an hour as well and that's it you know so it's really a tight schedule and there's no room for any sort of fluff within this panel or any sort of just filler they have to get straight to the point and obviously that isn't the best thing for us we want like a good hour-long reveal we want as much as we possibly can from this reveal event next week but unfortunately this is going to be the only time in which we will probably see anything about this game so just to put something else up on screen activision does not have their own booth at e3 this year so there is not expected to be any hands-on related stuff for call of duty at e3 and since call of duty is still partnered with playstation for modern warfare there's no playstation conference at e3 as well so there's no conference in which we could see some new details released beyond beyond this one panel, this one Call of Duty panel. This is pretty much the only place out of all of E3 we could possibly see any Call of Duty information here. So definitely, again, Tuesday, June 11th, that's next Tuesday, 6 p.m. Eastern Time, 3 p.m. Pacific Time. That's when we're going to be seeing new Modern Warfare gameplay, like I said, at least the two campaign missions, and at least uh, some discussion, some new information being revealed about this campaign. Hopefully it's not just, you know, obviously I like when they talk about their motives and, you know, the storyline and what they're doing here, but I want them to really go through some specifics as to what they're changing with this game, why this game is different, how this game is different from the rest, um, just, you know, to make a really solid, cool game, you know, hearing about their ambition and why they made this campaign it's cool and all but when you only have a half an hour and you're only really gonna have 10 to 15 minutes after you show these missions you gotta get to the point and if that's their only reveal up until hopefully you know this multiplayer reveal isn't in July but if this is the only time they're revealing information and then we have to wait all the way till the end of July almost two months from now that's a pretty long wait and honestly they need to bring some stuff out to this because you don't want to do with sledgehammer games in their reveal cycle if you guys don't remember when World War II was being marketed pre-release before that game was out, you would see a reveal for World War II, you would see a an image teaser, and then you wouldn't get anything for like two and a half months, just two and a half months of complete silence. And then we got over the summer, you guys remember the zombies reveal for World War II, Nazi zombies for World War II. It was really sick, really cool. And then from that World War II Nazi zombies reveal over the summer, we got nothing from the summer all the way until the game was revealed in November. Like, absolutely nothing. Not a single teaser, not a single reveal, not even a discussion live stream about any of the information, any of the stuff that was coming for the game. It, it, honestly, they really screwed up that hype for the game. And if, I don't know if you guys don't remember that, but I remember covering it as a YouTuber. I was just like, wow, this sucks. There's literally nothing to talk about here because they're not revealing anything. This time around, I mean, Infinity Ward... As of now, it, like they're doing a decent job. I, I think for the most part, we've been relying heavily on leaks. And as long as there are minor leaks, I don't want the whole game to be leaked. Don't, don't get me wrong. I definitely don't want that to happen. But, you know, certain leaks about little aspects of the game, like we've been seeing, you know, the campaign DLC leak and the Modern Warfare 2 and 3 remastered leaks coming alongside this game. Like those are solid leaks that definitely should be releasing. And if not, Infinity Ward should be announcing that stuff to us, you know, through Throughout the next couple of months so again hopefully this tuesday it's not the last time we hear from infinity ward or the last time we see gameplay all the way until the end of july or you know whenever this multiplayer reveal is hopefully we do get stuff in between that every couple weeks and maybe every two weeks 
we just get some sort of update from them about what's going on in this game. So definitely leave a comment below. Gameplay, if you watch the whole video, it's greatly appreciated. And honestly, it's going to be sick. Hopefully, we do see some new stuff. But again, these missions, even though the YouTubers and the influencers already saw them, it's new gameplay to us. No one has ever seen these missions. I mean, for one, like the missions aren't probably even seen within the trailer. We just have this trailer, mostly cinematics. Can't really see much. With these missions being released and revealed at E3, we're finally going to like really see what these graphics are like for this game and how it looks and how the guns shoot and really how everything sounds. And I think, honestly, I'm really, I'm almost more hyped for this reveal than I am, or than I was. Actually, I was pretty hyped for the actual reveal for Modern Warfare, but I'm I'm honestly just as hyped for this reveal because this, this should be a really sick reveal. We're going to actually see, you know, the HUD of the game. Just like really cool stuff that we have not been yet able to see. So thank you guys so much. I hope you guys did enjoy. Get ready for Tuesday. And yeah, that's pretty much it. See you guys later.